Good morning. How's it going, traders? Monday morning, 20 past six right now. I have had the worst night's sleep ever. My missus has got some sort of bug. She was up every 20 minutes. Oh, wow. This is where discipline comes in. I'm knackered. I went to bed at like 8 p.m. last night. That is how early I went to bed. I was wanting to get up at about half five. I found myself sitting on the toilet at 5 a.m. with my hands on my head, thinking, hold on a second, I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna be able to make this video, but your boy, I'm back, I'm back. There's no negotiating with myself. I was just, as soon as I woke up, I got out of bed and I got my kit on. I'm gonna brush my teeth, drink some water and then get this run on the way. I was aiming to do 10K, but I hit legs yesterday. Legs are killing my mates shins are hurting so we're gonna try and beat our 5k record today use ourselves in at the start of the week but remember one thing discipline is not leaving us i'm still going to go on this run it's been raining it's windy it's early but that does not matter because when i accept defeat in my main mindset then i start being lazy things start going wrong there's only one thing here that i'm taking from today and this morning is that no matter what the weather is no matter how i feel get the job done and that is my mentality moving forward in 2023 hope well, you guys enjoyed this video if you are new around here check out all of my daily lives after this one subscribe and yeah let's get into this video baby come on setup is turning on for when i get back just to quickly see what happens during london open we are close to quarter to seven right now so we are close to actually you know london open when i get back we'll do some back tests back testing and then we'll go from there quick 5k as i said i didn't i don't even want to do this today but i do things i don't want to do because then i just keep building from that and as soon as you start accepting you know that laziness or oh i'll do it i'll do it tomorrow you, you're just accepting the defeat just get it over and done with that is what discipline is so yeah without further ado let me just go smash out this run 1k into the run already another 4k to go oh mate I can't, I can't tell you how hard this actually is this morning, but we get the job done. No excuses, no bitching around. Ain't that right, Tom? Huh? Ain't that right? I don't know what he said. See? He's in his dungeon. <laughs> oh, mate. Trying to get the win. Quick 5k banked. Walking back now just to, you know, loosen up the muscles, stretch out a bit. Cool down. Cool down. That was really difficult. That was probably the hardest one I've ever done in the last two weeks. Half the distance we normally do, but half our the distance. It. Yeah. I've learned now not to do legs on a Sunday, that's for sure. Legs and then run. But 5k banked. It's the first day of the week, so it's still a big W. That's how you got to look at it. Still got ourselves out there. Quarter past seven right now in the morning. And we're still thriving. We've still got a gym session to hit today, which is chest. It's a big session. And then obviously we've got work as well, but that just comes with the day job. Anyway, I'm going to go eat some food, do some stretching, do some back testing, and then get set up with work. Also get a coffee as well. So I've got a huge day ahead of me. Everything to be excited about. Fucking go get the bread. Let's go get it. Go get it. Whilst my food is being made, no days off, back testing, here we come. The time is currently 7.41, 20 to 8. The weather outside is getting better. I actually feel better now. The run was very hard, can't lie. But there's people out there struggling today. There's people out there with illnesses and they still get up and they still go on their day and trying to you know survive like how can i just because i've had a poor night's sleep what kind of my mentality is that by just giving in first thing no what we do is we attack the fucking problem and that was the run we attacked the run absolutely dying right now from the run i need to do some stretching because my legs are definitely feeling it but we'll do a bit of back testing after my breakfast protein oats banana raspberries and peanut butter let me show you what it's like Starting the day off well already, nearly 500 milliliters of water done, 20 to eight. So, because I got gym as well, big scoop of peanut butter. Obviously, 
There's a lot of fats in peanut bar, but a big scoop to get the job done. We've got a big chest session today, so I need to eat very, very well. Adding some raspberries in as well to add to the flavor. Just watch this. And a big, juicy banana just to top it up. And then I'm gonna mix it all up and then job is done. Now, this is purely because I'm going to the gym. This is like an energy gym ball. This is mental. How healthy is this as well, can I just say? Instead of like a Greg sausage roll where it's got a lot of pastry on it, or like I said before, a McDonald's breakfast, you, you name it, cereal isn't even that good for you. This is oats. It's gonna give me slow release and energy throughout the day. I've got two of my fruits in there, raspberries and bananas, so that's two out of five. And it is healthy. It's healthy thinking. I know the peanut butter probably isn't the best, but it's got some good high sources of protein as well. And obviously, you know, some fats is okay. I'm not out here trying to be a triathlete. But it, it, just small steps like this make a huge difference. If you carried on eating this every day, every morning, 30 days, your physique would change without exercise because you're just you're just bettering yourself. You're better in putting stuff into your body, which is better. And so many people don't, and it's so easy. I like even this Saturday, I had a Big Mac meal. Yeah, I had a Big Mac meal, but I knew that I was gonna put the work in this week. I knew last week I've put the work in, and then it's okay. Too many people get caught up in eating, you know, eating out with their couples and that, and then they start to go out drinking a lot or whatever, and start putting on weight. Then they start getting depressed, start hating themselves. And it's a fucking downward spiral. So start action now, start taking it, do what I'm doing. I feel amazing right now. Quarter to eight, I had to eat the best breakfast ever and then getting started my day. Look how pumped I am, I'm ready for it. And it's Monday morning, nothing taken as well. Cause I know a few people in the comments will say you're on some substance or some stuff. Now I'm joking. Anyway, let's eat this, come on. Look at that. Oh yes. And then this is the final product. Raspberry, banana, peanut butter, protein, oats. Absolutely delicious. Coffee secured, I had to go to Costa today, so I've got my iced coffee. I'm now heading to go to the barber's, get a nice little trim. Uh, it opens up at 9am, it's now 10 to 9, so I've got enough time. Filled up the full tank as well, over 115 quid, which is what you love to see. And then I'm going to the gym, let's go. So the back testing last night on the Sunday, boom. What do we see here? SL's at 1891 trade activated let's go baby sent in free training group link in the description as well i don't um, have any signals at cost but it just goes to show the sunday back testing session waiting for the setup london opened it's now half past nine in the morning haircut done as you can see looking nice and fresh ready for the week to take over and yeah i'm just keeping the momentum going i'm just always positive trying to be as positive as I can be in the trade. I normally don't even trade that much. As I said on the other videos, I've only had one trade in March so far, which was on the 10th. It is now the 13th and we're in our second trade of the month. It could go sour. It could be nice profits. If it is nice profits, then I won't enter any more trades until my buy limit at 1825. We're currently at 1889 right now. Um, but this is the whole point of trading with freedom. You don't need to over trade. We secured nice profits on the first trade. We don't need to keep over trading. It's, it's the Monday. Markets have just only recently opened after Tokyo session. Don't need to force the trade. We'll see how it plays out. On the way to the gym, huge chest session. Gold sales currently running in like plus 15k profit right now. Around 20 foot, 20 ish pips, I say. Brilliant entry. And this is the whole point of trading and freedom, you know. As I said, I back tested yesterday, got my analysis in, waited for London to open, got a haircut, coffee, morning run. Look what I've achieved so far today. And it's only just gone 10 o'clock in the morning. That's that's some decent stuff right there. And especially when this trade comes in, beautiful profits, close it out. Then that's two trades taken this month, two trades made profit, no need to over trade. Probably up, could be up around five plus percent on just two trades. That is the whole point of trading, is for freedom. Here we go. The boy's back. The boy's in blue, the boy's in blue. 
just in the gym right now ended up securing my gold trade plus 20k in the free trading group plus 4.5 percent second trade of the month two on two out of two and yeah as i said before i'll hold way over five percent now for the month and currently in the gym that's called freedom and now i won't need to trade now for the rest of the week so i've got a whole week to do whatever the fuck i want that's good now it's time to hit a big chess session let's do it Just got back from the gym. I closed out this trade whilst I was at the gym. As you can see on the screen right now, free trading group and also myself, I made 20 k from the trading group, made about four or five percent. That was my second trade of the month on my account and now up 35K for the month, two out of two. Trading is about freedom, like I said. You need to relax when you're on the markets. You don't have to trade every day. I won't be trading now for the rest of the week, if not the end of the month. And that's just how you start to win in trading. It's not too many people try and trade every single day or multiple times in a week. Then by the end of the month, they open up new accounts. Please take your time, don't rush, use smaller risk if you have to. If you wanna to continue to trade multiple times in a week, use smaller risk, honestly. But that's how you become successful in trading. You might not like that thought process, but it works and that's just how you trade. Even if it's once a month, you're still taking money from the market. And when you've got a bigger size challenge account from the prop firms, then you can actually make some serious dough. So I'm gonna go celebrate now. Let's go get some food. Gym session was quality, by the way. Big chest session and um, I'm ready to get going. As I said, I've been, I had a terrible night's sleep. I've been up since early and I'm still going. It's currently quarter past 12 and look how much I've achieved now. I can just go relax. Let's go and get some food. Life is good, man. God is great. Oh, yes. This is what you get after a nice, good week of trading. Look at that. Freedom, this is what it's called. Absolute freedom here. Just come back from lunch, was absolutely lovely. It's currently 25 past one. I've got to start my Reacts channel, reboot that back up. I've got a lot of business calls, like three or four business calls today um, about prop firms and stuff like that. And some other stuff behind the scenes for everyone to see in the coming days or coming weeks. Achieved a lot today and it's only 25 past one. How much you can get done if you just keep being disciplined and structured. Don't feel like you're stuck in a hole because you can definitely get out. I'm still not out of that hole, but every single day I make steps, small little steps to get better mentally, physically, and just keep growing my life in an ascending channel, should we say. It's easy to just get lost and stay the same. It's okay if you want to stay the same and everything like that. But I didn't realize that I was kind of struggling, let's say, until I started to get better in shape and was realizing, wow, <laughs> I haven't taken control of this situation yet. Get out of the camera. If you enjoy this content, like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next day in the life, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Peace.